Before the break, Jesse met with the crew and told them about a new project they'd be starting. Jimmy was tasked to get online and find suppliers who might want to feature their products on the show. Then Lauren hit the street to meet with some of the best local contractors that may want to highlight their services. Jesse's design is done, so it's time to have a team meeting. Unfortunately, the rest of the crew is not in the office, but he tracked them down to their favorite hangout spot. Hey, Jesse. Hey, Sarah, what's going on? Not a lot. So this is my crew, how they work? Guess so. Real good, guys. Yeah, why not take a little bit of a long break considering we finished everything we had to do? All right, so you're telling me that you've got everything done, you've got all the materials and supplies lined up, Jimmy? We're good to go. Lauren? I have all the contractors booked. I don't know how I did it. And then these are the final project numbers right there. Well, hell, that's awesome, guys. I think I'll have a beer since they're already this far ahead. But I'll tell you, if you got that much time on your hands, I may be paying you too much. No. Yeah, right. <laughs> well, anyways, hey, Craig's on his way here. And uh, I was going to reveal the design, but as long as you got the budget ready, why don't we head over there to the booth? We'll go over both the budget and the design. And Jimmy, you're going to have to get back to the office, man. I need you to order all the material. You got it. All right. I think I'll take another one of these. Are you sure? Yeah, she's 10K over budget. He doesn't even know it yet. All right. Here you go, Jesse. Thanks, sir. You're welcome. Hey, Greg, how you doing? Hey, Jesse, how you doing? Oh, I want to introduce you to Lauren. Hi, Lauren, nice to meet you. Nice Lauren, to meet you. this is Greg, our new client. Hey, Lauren works behind the scenes for the man card crew. She takes care of landing all the contractors. Plus, she's responsible for all the budgetary numbers on all the projects that we work on. But before we get to Lauren's budget, the first thing I want to do is show you the new design. I can't wait to see it. Check it out. All right, so we're looking at the overhead blueprint view, and we dedicated the spot just for your poker room. I know you and the guys like to hang out and play some poker, so we dedicated an awesome space for that. Next to there is your home bar. We're going to use your old bar, plus we're going to put a custom bar back right behind it. As you wrap around the side there past the bathroom, you can go right into the theater room. The theater room is going to have a 119-inch theater screen with awesome theater seating. Behind the theater seating is your billiards room, and as you wrap through the billiards room, it's through a walk-through wine cellar and right back into the poker room. This room really flows, and I think it's everything that you were asking for. Now, I do really like this plan, but what's this behind the theater room? Well, I want to remind you that you had said that you didn't want to lose too much storage. So we wanted to set aside some storage area, and that's what that is there. Right next to that is your uh, mechanical room area, so if it ever needed to be serviced, you got some room to do that without getting into the living space. If you just click through the software here, we're going to be able to see all the textures and colors I plan on implementing in your design. So let's take a look. Alright Greg, so what did you think of my design? You know Jesse, I do like the design, however, it looks like there's some high-end finishes in there. Is this going to fit within the $30,000 budget? We have to talk about that. Well, Lauren, what are you talking about? Well, hold on. Let's talk about the size of your basement. 1,800 square feet. It's pretty big. And yes, you are right. There are some high-end materials and finishes. Now, I was able to acquire some cooperation from great local contractors, and Jimmy even got the donations to the show. Our preliminary numbers were so great that this remodel is going to be worth $80,000. Whoa, $80,000 is way over the budget. Oh, no, no, no. We're not asking for $80,000, but we are going to have to go over about $10,000. $40,000 if you want to fit Jesse's remodel here. Now, I know that is still over. Now, we can stick with the $30,000, but we will have to trim down Jesse's design. Or, if you look at it this way, you put the additional $10,000 forth, and your home equity is going to be worth an additional $40,000. So, you're pocketing that money. I really want you to be comfortable with your decision. Packing forty thousand dollars in equity is not a bad thing, but if you want to stick to the thirty, then I mean, we're going to have to do what we need to do to trim the design down. So really, it's your decision. Well, you know, guys, I, I think you know I really wanted to stick with thirty, but what you're telling me here, yeah, I think the extra ten thousand, I think that's a no-brainer. I think we should go ahead and do it. I agree. I think it's the best choice, yeah, man. It's definitely, it's gonna be worth it. Lauren, nice job. Thanks. But uh, we're going to have to talk, okay? Yeah. All right, hey, we're going to go ahead and get the contractors to pull their uh, permits and registration and uh, we'll get started as soon as we can. Hey, that sounds terrific. Order a beer, man. Okay, sounds good. All right.